Okay, unboxing the uh, Lexan uh, automatic uh, tire inflator, and uh, let's see what let's see what you get when you get the box. Albie is manning the uh, camera at the moment. He has plenty of experience. Let's put this over here, or let's drop it. You get the user manual. Nicely packaged. I think this would survive any kind of uh, shipment. You get a uh, carrying case. Get a little um, inflator tube and a couple of different adapters. So, hey, good news is this will work on your smaller Schrader valves on e-bikes and things like that. You also get an inflator for sports equipment, which is actually pretty cool, I think. And then, uh, of course, the charger, uh, charger cable. And hey, great news, it's USB-C, which is really much better than USB-B, uh, in my humble opinion. <clears throat> Let's not drop that this time. And here's the uh, box itself, or the inflated pump itself. Here's the air inlet on the bottom. And uh, you've got a little protector on the screen. And um, we'll just go ahead and plug it in right where we're on camera here. Let's, uh, we should have checked to see if, I guess, if it had a charge before we try it. Let's see if it has a charge. If it has a charge, Alby, we'll try and inflate a tire. Where's the on button? Here is the on button. There she goes. Okay. We got an on button. All right, let me peel off this protective cover, give you a little better close-up of it here. And uh, there's a little light there. I haven't read the manual, but I'm guessing that it's pretty self-explanatory. Let me put the adapter on off camera and, and then we'll try and inflate the bicycle motorcycle tire. So uh, thanks to Albie, he just ran through the various functions on the uh, portable inflator to me and it's it's actually even more useful than I had thought. There's a light here as we talked earlier but the light actually you can control and it'll probably come in handy if you're out on the road in the dark or something and using it. Uh, there are various modes you can go through motorcycle, car, uh, sports toy and one other that uh, I can't remember at the moment. And then, of course, you can cycle through the various pressure metrics, kilograms, bar. Uh, in my case, if you've been around as long as I am, it has to be PSI. That's what I understand the most. So um, the uh, machine is set up and use these buttons to move around. And then when you've got it hooked up and you want to do an inflation, you push this button. And that's what gets it started. And it's not all that loud. Uh, my bigger air compressor over there in the corner makes a noise that is, almost will deafen you. <laughs> so uh, let's give it a try on, on the motorcycle. What do you say, Albie? Let's go right ahead. All right, man. Enough of the chit chat. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get on it. <laughs> So you could turn it on if you want. Well, I don't know if you want to turn it on now. You just catch me. No, that's my, that's my uh, FOBO tire alarm system. Going into alarm. So we're going from, it was around about 32 and a half and we're taking it up to 36 and a half. And um, I'm assuming it's just gonna shut off automatically. Yes. Okay, Alby says yes. It'll get there. You're not pushing a lot of air through these so you need, need a little bit of patience. Especially, I would imagine, if you're starting from zero on a larger tire. Almost there. Thirty-six and a half. She shuts off. 
Now, you always lose maybe a quarter PSI anyway. The, the uh, setting per the manual for the Tuono rear tire is um, 36.26 PSI, <laughs> which tells you, this is my Fobo tire, auto, remote tire monitoring system. So let's push this back on here. And uh, hey, I'll be if you can stay in focus there. So we got it on, it stopped automatically. Worked perfect. Now I'm getting that alarm sound again. Let me grab my phone, which has the Fobo um, app on it. And let's go to the Okay, FOBO is saying it's 35.2. I'm not gonna uh, worry about that a whole lot because you're gonna have um, one PSI over 36 is, uh, you can do the math later. That's pretty accurate and close enough. There's no sense, unless you're riding on a track or something like that, there's no sense obsessing over a half a pound or a pound PSI, whatever. You're, you're gonna be working in the ballpark. so. That's pretty close. I would, it wouldn't surprise me that there is a, a PSI more or less difference between the two. But uh, do you have a comment on that, Albie, at you know? all? For an emergency uh, air pump, uh, it's pretty close. If you're in yep. a jam, they'll bring you back home. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I'm really excited to have this. It's uh, really handy to have thing is very lightweight and the automatic feature is cool. I think uh, this could be useful for husbands to instruct their wives if they get lost out on the road or need it or something. But this is pretty neat and I really appreciate it, Albie. Thanks a lot, sir. You are very welcome. Ciao.